Welcome Capricorns, happy birthday. So we see, we have the ending of Sagittarian. And with the ending of Sagittarian, we are working with uh, um, the energy of Capricorn. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Happy birthday to you, Sagittarian and Capricorn. Sagittarian is on the 21st. Capri oh, it's Capricorn. Capricorn begins on the 21st. Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get in this and see what is happening and transpiring. Um, some of you are going to be having some sort of an issue with a Libra man. Um, um, the metal. Some of you are going to be working and collaborating with a uh, a Libra man. It can be a Libra man, Libra woman. Um, some sort of a sadness for this person and work is going to be coming up. However, this is happening and transpiring. So it's as if uh, in this year, you're going to be dealing with some sort of a situation with work. Um, and you could be dealing with a, a Libra person, whether it's a woman or a man. I see some sadness for this person is going to be coming up. This person is between the ages of 18 and 45. The youth of uh, that is uh, a young person. So whoever this young person is and whatever is transpiring, I see it. Um, some sort of an ending, some sort of a situation that is going to be happening and transpiring for this person at work. So I see um, uh, some of you are going to be working on some sort of a relationship with this person. And uh, I see some sort of an issue for, for them is going to be coming up at work. So be aware and aligned with the energies. Uh, um, we can see this coming up. So some sort of a information is going to be coming in where it is going to be affecting maybe this is your partner or maybe it's not your partner but i see you're going to be having some sort of uh problems uh, um and it's not really that you're having the problem the person is sad and you're going to be working with the person in order to resolve uh, some sort of a situation that this person is going through this person is between the ages of 18 and 40 um, five okay so um what is here happening and what is transpiring Ooh, wow a lot going a lot of nurturing energy the center is the energy of the oracle and um some sort of a secrecy i see you're going to be victoriously overcoming some sort of a conflict that was uh, happening and you're going to be standing very very strong so whatever that was happening and transpiring, you can see that's the energy of the train, the five um, of ones and the strength. And you're going to be standing um, in your powers. And this is going to be extremely, extremely powerful. So um, the center of this reading is showing up that in this new year, because you're just starting 2020, you just came out of, and finished um, 2019 and you're just starting 2020. And I see some sort of uh, um, problems that was there is going to be resolved because it's as if uh, some sort of uh, information is going to be coming out uh, that is going to be showing you the way moving forward. And you're going to be moving forward on a very positive note because it's as if uh, you're showing up things and situation that people weren't aware of. And you're going to be making a whole lot of transition in your life, okay? So this reading is for the people who were born on the 21st of December until the 27th of December. I want to say happy birthday and thank you, Capricorn. This is your season. Um, look out for the Capricorn Abundance in Money and Prosperity reading. Um, this is going to be coming up soon. So look out for it in order to find out what is going to be your financial sin. You have to use um, the extended um, join button in order to pick your crystal. Okay. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, without ado, let's go in and see what is happening. So, as we look at the people who were born on the 21st, some of you could be um, getting pregnant. Some of you could be adopting kids. So, um, a lot of you are going to be dealing with issues with your kids. So, but um, if you were having problems uh, um, with fertility, this is going to be changing in this new year. So, this is going to be good. I see a lot of you, um, um, it could be grandkids, uh, but it has young children that is going to be entering your life. And I see you're going to be nurturing to these people and supporting these people and helping these people. Money could be coming in also. The energy of uh, um, Mother Nature, it's about uh, um, the energy of the empress and the energy of the empress is showing up where i see that a lot of you are going to be financial stable in order to create your wealth and this is going to be absolutely absolutely fantastic so um a lot of uh, financial stability is going to be coming up for you guys that is born on the 21st there is no question about it um materialistic wealth you're also going to be resolving issues with your mom relationship between you and your mom is going to be um reunite and healing i see a lot of you um supporting and working together with your grandparents um money is not going to be any problem at all so this is going to be absolutely positive in this year so i see this year's issues uh, that uh, um, is going to be resolving with the mother, the grandmother, the female energy. A lot of you are going to be standing in your female powers. And this is uh, going to be really, really fantastic. Let's see what extra message is coming out. I see they're going to be finding out the theft of uh, a young fire sign person. So they're going to be realizing that a young fire sign person have created a huge, huge tap. So a lot of you, this could be your child or you're finding out that this young child or that people have stolen from this young child. I see the situation is going to be transpiring because um, they're going to be finding out that it's either people have stolen from this person and you're trying to help them to resolve some sort of a situation or um, they're going to be finding out that a fire sign person has created a huge, huge tap, okay? And this is a young person between the age of 18 and 35 that has created a huge tap. I see some of you are going to be also stressed out uh, when it comes on to your kids, so be aware of that. Alrighty, so um, you have 3 and uh, 23, that is 8, okay? So the 23, the rat is the energy of stress, okay? And whatever is happening and transpiring, there are some things that you were not aware of. Um, some of you could be finding out that your child has come in some sort of a problem or this child is very stressed out. All right, so we're moving on to the people who were born on the 22nd of December. Um, we have temperance. We have our earth energy. So this is going to be a good year because... Um, Hurt energy gives you balance and bring back balance in your world. And this is going to be extremely good. Um, we see um, the uh, quest of emotion. So a lot of you emotional issues, problems that you were dealing with, you're going to be resolving this. Okay, you're going to be bringing it to a balance because now you're understanding what was happening, what was transpiring. It's as if some of you have gone through um, some issues, some problems uh, emotionally, um, you were broken and I see some form of healing is going to be coming out and I see a positive transformation is going to be happening in your world where you are letting go of e emotional problems and issue and you're going to be resolving um, these um, situation, whether it's with family, whether it's with yourself, however this is transpiring, um, you are going to be taking the high road and is going to be balancing out your emotional um, situation and you are going to be feeling much better as you leave 
this timeline going in um, this uh, um, new timeline and making changes for yourself in a very, very positive way. So we see um, temperance and the energy of temperance is uh, um, balancing out some sort of a um, situation that was transpiring in your world. Um, the quest of emotional a situation that was created in your world is going to be resolved. So was it an issue with your mom? Was it issues with family? Um, was it emotional issues that you have been carrying for a very long time? You're going to be released in this. Some of you who had some sort of a problem with a young Pisces, Cancer or Scorpion, you're going to be resolving this issue and you're going to be letting it go. So you have balance and this is going to be a good year. You're going to be leaving this year on a very positive note. 14 is uh, five, so changes. <laughs> okay, sometimes I surprise myself. So yeah, changes is coming up, but these changes that is coming up is very positive. Changes with a yeah, with your emotion is going to be coming up. That was what I was saying. So this year is going to be bringing in a lot of changes, a lot of emotional changes, a lot of situation that was going on this year is going to be bringing back a wonderful positive transition in your world where you're going to be healing the emotional situation that was happening and you're going to be bringing back a balance um, and stability in your world. Then, um, so congratulations, um, this year is going to be an energy of transition. Then we're moving on to the people who were born on the 23rd of December. Um, people who were born on the 23rd of December, go research yourself. Most of you are 33, 6, and most of you are not coming back to this planet. Um, most of you are um i dimensional beams so it could be you could be star seeds um yeah you could be star seeds or multi-dimension beams or crystal children okay you are um star seed that come to this planet in order to heal this planet so, um go check out uh, your birthdays uh, and realize that you are um not nor not uh, you have higher wisdom and knowledge okay a whole lot of higher wisdom and knowledge um that you have um and uh, um you some of you can be um a uh um a lot of you have higher wisdom and knowledge but you could be also a Profit, okay? You could be also a profit. So, what is coming up for you guys? I see changes is going to be coming up. Your emotion is going to be changed. I see you're going to be victoriously overcoming um, some sort of a conflicts and competition that was going on. I see some of you are going to be protecting your parents. Uh, um, whatever is happening, you're standing your ground and protecting your parents. You're coming up for your parents. Uh, so what we see is transition with your emotions. And I see you're going to be very much overcoming a fire sign person who have used some sort of a, or has done something. I see you're going to be victoriously overcoming this fire sign person and what they have done. Um, so whatever that was going on in the competition and all that was happening, I see an end is coming in, transition is coming in, and definitely an end is coming in. Some sort of a secrecy came out um, out about a fire sign person, and I see strength. A whole lot of people had to hold on and have a strength to deal with whatever that was happening and transpiring. The energy of the train is here, and you're moving forward. For the people who were born on the 23rd, you're moving forward, and I see that you're going to be supporting a lot of uh, and teaching something with teaching and supporting a lot of young people to awaken themselves and be ready i see protection is here that a lot of you are going to be protecting your kids uh, 
the nurturing of emotion has to do with uh, you be the emotional person that is going to be sustaining and bringing balance to some sort of a situation um, that was transpiring. So the energy of the train, it is the energy of the chariot, okay? And the chariot is bringing you forward and giving you a new stability in order to move forward and in order to create your world in a very, very positive way. So this is good. You're overcoming issues, problem, and you're um, emotionally balancing out yourself in a very, very, very positive way. Some of you could be um, buying a new card or some of you could be relocating but if you're relocating, it could be relocating, going back to live with your or your parents, that sort of a thing. Um, some of you are definitely going to be buying a new car and definitely going to be relocating. So that is a um, positive changes. Anything that has to do with travel um, or a car or a vehicle, it is going to be good. Whatever problems, issue you are going through, it is going to be resolved. And this is going to be positive. Long term stability is here. Um, for you um, um, people who were born on the 23rd of December, this is a good energy. Long-term stability, you have 7, um, 8, and 35. 7, 8, and 35. And as you notice is that uh, um, this year is like a lot of you are dealing with a lot of emotional situations. So you're stripping yourself of the emotional pain that you have been carrying around, especially with your mom, um, with your kids, uh, you're stripping that pain and regaining balance for yourself and it's going to be balancing out yourself in a very powerful way. So congratulations. Um, and uh, um, there we see the energy of the train and the energy of the train has to do with you moving forward in a very positive way. And a lot of you are going to be um, asking your mom to come and live with you or you're going to be taking in your kid in house and give them some sort of a long-term stability and this is going to be good. A lot of you also are going to be receiving long-term stability. So this is a positive alignment of energy. So congratulations. So you have the train, which is victory and success moving forward and you have um, the long-term stability so there is no changes but and if changes comes up it's going to be positive changes of strong long-term stability okay um as we move on to the people who are born on the 24 to secrecy 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 you are going to be connecting with your eye spirit guides they're going to be coming in um the energy of uh um, the eye princess, whenever the eye princess comes up, the eye princess is giving you eye knowledge and wisdom. And I see a whole lot of you. Um, this could be coming in via the, um, spirit world and, um, as a situation where your mom, um, if your mom is a, um, it doesn't really matter. If your mom has passed away, I see your mom is going to make your wishes and dream come true. So people were born on the 24th of December. It is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous because I see um, that you are going to be stable. Um, stability is going to be here and something that you have always wanted is going to be um, um, given to you. It's as if the spirit world um, so a lot of you who, are, uh, who works with the spirit world, um, this the, the, the guides and angel is going to be working with you in order to create wealth and stability for you. And this is going to be extremely, extremely powerful. So whenever you are blessed to get the oracle, um, this is the eye princess. Whenever you are blessed to get the oracle, this is saying a lot because this oracle is helping you to end all the competition around you, all the problems that was created around you. This oracle is really going to be working with you in order to bring you what you have been looking for, that long-term stability that you have been looking for, that long-term 
um, project you have been working on is finally going to be coming to fruitation and it is going to be bringing long-term stability for you in the future. Even that some of you were not aware of what is happening and transpiring. This oracle or the spirit guides or these spirit guides is going to be coming in and working with you guys through this year. So um, congratulations. Um, whatever the conflicts, the competition that was uh, um, around you, this is going to be ending. I see that some of you pull out the, um, the hands and said, um, no more, no more. And this is going to be good because some of you have been going through a lot, a lot of issues, a lot of problem. And you're like saying no more, no more. And they're realizing what has happened and what has transpired. So a powerful alignment of energy people are really now seeing um, what has been happening, what has been transpiring. I see you guys are standing your ground because you found out some sort of information and now you're standing your ground, showing up for yourself uh, and removing whatever the conflicts is and competition that was going on around you. You stood your ground and you have uh, removed um, these issues and people. Number two and number five. Two and five is seven and a lot of you, some sort of a transition is going to be coming up for a young child. If you have a child, a new start is going to be coming up for you. The competition is now over. Okay, so the competition is now over. A new start is going to be coming up for the people who were born on the 24th. Um, if your child was in some sort of a conflicts problem, they're going to be releasing your child and is going to give in your child a new start. Whatever the secrets is and whatever the competition that was around you guys, it is going to be coming to an end. So you have two, five, uh, 13, which is four, um, your angels and spirit guide. This is a year where this is a year of, uh, I have wisdom and knowledge for a lot of you where you're going to be opening up uh, to the mysteries of the world. Okay. Um, the, the, the eye princess and your spirit guides are going to be working with you in order to, uh, um, uh, elevate you to a higher wisdom and knowledge in this world. And this is going to be good. So congratulations. Alrighty. So congratulations. You're going to have a new start. Okay. So let's move on to the people who were born on Christmas. Christmas. And what do we see? Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas to um, you, Christmas baby. So Christmas baby, you have the energy of strength, but you are protected um, by um, your parents or you're protected uh, by people in authority. Okay. So if you notice, they are protecting and supporting you. Um, there was some sort of a problem where there was some conflicts and competition. I see this is going to be ending. You're going to be receiving a new start. I see you are, um, you regret, regret, um, a whole lot of situation. You have some regrets, but yet still you are letting go of these regrets and you're going to be accessing and uh, realizing that uh, you still come out the winner, the nine of cups. Look at that. Your Christmas, uh, your birthday, your year, whatever is uh, going to be happening in transpiring. Um, you are definitely protected by higher powers. Um, you know, nothing can touch you. You regret a situation maybe with your child. You regret the competition that was happening around you. You regret the problems that people have created for you. But yet still you're understanding these were lessons and these lessons had to make you stronger. You are coming out with the nine of cups. Take this, run with this. This is going to be a good year. A lot of you, your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true. And even though you think you're going through a lot of uh, power struggle and that sort of a thing, because I see you went through a whole lot of power struggle, but you're coming out receiving a new start. But you regret this. You regret why did all of this have to happen? You know, people are just um, just not uh, above water. 
But anyway, you will come out with a nine of cups. Your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true. It's going to be a powerful year. You're overcoming the conflicts uh, that was happening and transpiring. So you're, um, it's all because of jealousy, 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 jealousy. A lot of you were going through things and it was all because of jealousy. People do not have a good heart to wish other people, um, happiness and joy. And I see, um, conflicts. A whole lot of you could have been dealing with conflicts that has to, um, something to do with your child. Conflicts where people try to, um, you know, put you under some sort of, uh, um, problems and, um, all of this conflicts and, and issues that was going on. I see you're going to be bringing some sort of a balance to this and it's going to be re, re and taking back, um, your life in a very, very positive way. Really taking back your life in a very positive way. So congratulations, um, to you guys. Uh, whatever the conflicts is, you are going to be winning. You have the energy of the nine of cups. So you're looking at these people as if, you know, it didn't have to go like that. There were different ways to resolve the situation. How you have gone with the situation was incorrectly. So hold on to your nine of cups. Take this energy, run with this energy. It's going to be absolutely fabulous. Okay. So you have strength, which is number eight, I think. Um, or number 11, it could be number eight or number 11. Um, what is happening in Transpire? You're going to be overcoming whatever conflicts in this year, whatever issue. Nine transition is the end of uh, conflicts that was going on. And I see a powerful start uh, that is going to be coming in for you. So congratulations. All right. So we're moving on to the people who were born on the 26th. The people who were born on the 26th. I see some sort of a calling. Some sort of a information is going to be coming out. Some sort of a calling that is happening and transpiring. Um, some information is about to come in. Or some sort of a information um, is going to be transpiring. This could be also a calling that your angels and guides are calling you. I see some sort of a regrets. Regrets uh, that is going to be coming up for a... A scorpion woman okay some sort of a regret that is here for a scorpion woman in your life who is a scorpion woman are you married to this person or are you in some sort of a relationship with this person i see a judgment call is coming down on a scorpion woman i see a scorpion woman in your life is going to be regretting something that they have done so be aware of this so people who are born on the 26th some sort of an information is going to be coming out uh, and you're going to be having some sort of a regrets, but it's not that it uh, is something that someone has done to you in the past and you're going to be finding out a lot of information and it could be your mom, it could be a sister, it could be a friend, but whatever this person has done to you in the past, I see um, information is going to be coming to you about what this person has done to you in the past. So um, it's, it's, it's some sort of a bohor dealing is coming down on a sister or a family member or a friend. I see that you're going to be have to support um, this person by um, communicating and letting this person know. Um, so I see a lot of you could become teachers or is going to be having higher wisdom and knowledge to help someone out, okay, out of their sadness and to re reveal what is going on and cleanse uh, a sort of an emotional situation by other people. So um, um, here it is a family member overseas, whoever this family member is. Um, some of you, it could be problems with you traveling, um, that is going to be happening and transpiring. Um, some of you have regrets that you can't travel, you can't go visit your family. I see that sort of a sadness is coming up for you. Um, some sort of a sadness with a scorpion. Whether, um, if you have a scorpion in your life, um, that is a, um, a scorpion that is a family member living somewhere else. I see you're going to be regret that this person can't come to you or you can't go to them. But I see some sort of an emotional, um, emotional situation that is happening and transpiring. And I see that, um, people 
or going to be a realizing what has happened and what has transpired and i see your heart is going to be broken over what has transpired so truth is going to be coming out and i see some sort of a sadness you're going to be have to be helping someone emotionally that live away or from you you have to be there for this person this person is going to be going through a rough time and you have to be there so you know whenever you give back um um this is going to be creating a lot of positive energy for you because you're going through problems and situation that um they're going through problems and situation that you have already gone through and you're going to be knowing how to deal with them and how to help them um through their um emotional problems okay so this is going to be good so 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 um what we're seeing is that we have two five which is seven and three so there is some sort of a um situation about travel um that is going to be coming up for you and i see positive energies so, um for a lot of you if you want to buy a house it's going to be a good time it's going to be a yes some of you are conflicts with a house or a property is going to be over now people are finding out and seeing the truth about this and a lot of you um whatever the conflicts is you it's going to be over with some sort of a house or a property because people are finding out and seeing and realizing what has happened and what has transpired so that is good luck so you have two five and three two five and three and as you see five and three it is eight okay all right ladies and gentlemen this is powerful a lot of you who were born on the 27 could be receiving the ends of marriage uh you could also be receiving um um your soulmate you could be moving in with your soulmate uh, and your twin flame a new contract is going to be coming in um this is going to be powerful uh so i see a, definitely a new contract is going to be created a lot of you are going to get married a lot of you are going to be buying a house a lot of you are going to be moving in together and a lot of you are going to be connecting with your uh twin flame soulmate okay so a new start uh, with your twin flame soulmate is coming in a lot of you your kids could be returning home to live and that is going to be much better because a child under the same roof there's more income and stability that is going to be happening i see commitment is a, a new commitment is going to be given to a lot of you who were born on the 27 so some sort of a new commitment is definitely going to be given to a lot of you that was born on the 27 new um new contracts new business relationship new contracts new business relationship um people are going to be finding out uh, and um they're going to be realizing that you are very good at what you do i see a whole lot of business is going to be coming in um to a whole lot of you so remember this lee so let's give you your last so the energy of the ring that is number six uh, and four is ten, a new start with a new relationship, a new um, work, uh, uh, new um, employment, um, new love is coming in, uh, a new start in your relationship, your soulmate relationship. A lot of you could be offered hands of marriage and the offer to move in together. So this is going to be extremely, extremely beautiful. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, everything that um transpire so how these readings are their accumulation readings so um this is the 24th so if you were born on the 24th um in uh, the month of december going in january january february um, february march um february march april april may uh june july or April, May, May, June, June, July, August, September, October, November, you end with December. So you're going to be having this next year, next year, December. Okay. So this is, um, 
really wonderful and really positive. It is a really um, wonderful and positive alignment of energy. This is um, good. This is uh, powerful. What this is doing is bringing you to a sort of a new balance in your world. This is going to be a new um, year that is coming up that is going to be aligning you in really positive energies and this is going to be good. So congratulations, whoever tried to steal from you, they're going to be catching this person. Um, so no need to worry. Whoever stole from you or has uh, stolen from you, they're definitely going to be catching this person, catching this person as what they have done. It could be a sister, it could be a friend, it could be someone in some sort of an organization, institution. And I see um, that they're going to be catching this person and bring this person um, to balance. I gotta go. I love you guys. Namaste until next time.